Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm in my breakfast nook and I'm going to be doing a tablescape. This is a collaboration that I'm doing with three fabulous gals. Antoinette from Antoinette Decorating, Inn from Luxury Living Within, and Marlene from Buffalo Check Chicks. Now we are doing a Buffalo Check Tablescape. Just like this, yes, I am using the red and black check. I'm also gonna be using the white and black check, and I'm gonna tie in two different plaids, and Santa's gonna show up too. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm changing out my light fixture here. Now I'm leaving all the ornaments on here from before, and the little upside down tree from Dollar Tree, but I've taken off the little elf and I got rid of the bowl of ornaments because I'm going to hang something else from the tree because I'm going to do what I call a hanging centerpiece because I don't want to put anything down on the table. We're just going to have it hanging down where it's just almost touching the table. So let's get started on that first and then we will do the tablescape. Alrighty, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hang these skates. And I believe I got these at Kohl's. I don't know if I got them last year or the year before. And I'm just going to hang it from one of the branches. I'm going to be hanging down kind of low, like I said, just kind of barely touching. Now, I just want to add a few picks in here on both sides to cover up the jute string. So let me go grab some picks and we'll get this finished up. Now, I have a few picks that I'm going to use. I have two of these. Uh, these are from Walmart a few years ago and the same with these. And I have the red and black pattern on there. Then I have these little black and white balls that I want to stick in there too. And you know, I believe, well, they had some uh, other things on it that I pulled off. Got these at uh, Hobby Lobby. I can't remember what else was on here because I just wanted the balls. I think I might've had some pine cones on it, but I didn't want the pine cones. So what I'm gonna do, if I can do this here, without any of the ornaments falling down, just kind of looking here, what I'm going to do. I like these that have the little clips on it. So I'm going to clip this one here onto the jute. Get it on there if I want it. Alrighty, I'm going to put that one down there. And then I'm going to put this one on the opposite side. Kind of swing this around on the back. So I'm going to have it pretty on both sides. Where is that? And then I'm just going to try to tuck these in, and hopefully they stay kind of in here a little bit. And then one on the back side, just move around a little bit here. Okay. Then I have these picks. I want to put them up top, actually. I want to cover some more of the tree right up here. And I'm not going to clip it in, but I'm going to try to use the branches of the tree to hold it in. I'm going to get this little pine cone right here. There we go. Now I've got to do the other side. chandelier is moving here. <laughs> Oops, that's one problem with that. It'll, it'll go back. Just kind of have that piece right there. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit. But basically, that is what I want to do. So i got to brush off the tablecloth here because some of these things have shedded. Then we'll get started on the table setting. The first thing I'm gonna be using is this plastic charger. And this just came from Hobby Lobby. The next plate I'm gonna be using is one of those chalkboard plates that I had on here before. Got these at Pier 1 a few years back. And now I'm gonna introduce in my first of the two plaids. I love, love this plaid. This is another plate from Pier 1, and I actually got these at the same time. I saw them together, and I thought they looked fabulous. 
Okay. The last plate I'm using is this cute little Santa head plate. Isn't he cute? He is dimensional. And these are from Home Goods a few years ago. And you know, normally I would just place him like straight like this, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the side. I think that looks cuter, having him on the side. Okay, since I'm doing a lot of blacks and reds, I thought I'd just add a little, a little bit of this greenery here. Pick. I think that looks kind of cute. I have to adjust this a little bit. There we go. Now, for the napkin, instead of placing a napkin on the plate here somewhere, because I don't want to cover up the Santa, I'm actually using these glasses around the table, so I'm just going to be setting my napkin in here. Actually, I'm using two. So for my napkin, I've just combined two napkins here. I have my black and white buffalo check that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I have my black and white plaid in here. Then these are from Pier 1. So I'm going to put the napkin ring on here. And uh, this is from Pier 1. So this is more the back side as it looks. So instead of going like this, because I'm not going to have it flat, I'm going to put it in the glass here. I'm going to put it this way, because these are going to go upside down. So I'm going to try to get this on here as far on here as I can. Fortunately, these uh, pine cones do shed a little bit, like so. Okay, now I'm just going to stick it in the glass here. And then I have this little pick here. I'm going to tuck in, and I'm actually going to tuck it in back behind the one napkin because I don't want the stem showing. Okay, and that, put the table up here, is what I'm doing with my napkins. So I'm going to be doing the other three, set them around, and I'm not going to be using any silverware. So, actually, maybe I should. I don't know, should I, should I use silverware? Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> well, let me set the other ones around and I'll debate if I'm going to do any silverware. Well, I went ahead and put the silverware on. And I do like it with the silverware better. And you know what? I'm loving how much this tablescape looks with my curtains over there on my patio door. It ties in perfectly. All right, so let's go around the table here. And I'm going to apologize for the shadow. I have to have my light ring on because my light fixture tends to make things look more yellowy. We'll just go check out every place setting. Santa face is so cute. You know, I thought about putting like some little confetti or something down below the skates, but I decided not to. We'll just leave it the way it is. I like it. I like how these, uh, the napkins turned out too. Because I was playing with them for a while, trying to figure out how I could get it around the plate, because they're so big, and not cover up the Santa. And I thought, well, we'll just put it in the glass. I do that a lot sometimes, but I do like how pretty those look. And then the centerpiece here. Looks so cute, hanging down from there. I didn't want to put too much greenery on it. I think this is enough for it. All right, so that, get over here, is how my tablescape turned out. Well, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and please be sure to go check out Antoinette, Marlene, and Inn's Tablescapes, because you don't want to miss theirs. I have their channel links down below in my description box, and when you do go over there, please subscribe to their channels if you haven't already. Now, before I close out the video, I wanted to uh, say this because I got so excited the other day on Thursday. I went to a Goodwill, and you'll never guess what I found. I found these chairs. Remember, I was looking for my chairs when I wanted to have a chair in my desk area here. Because at my last house, we didn't have a desk area in the kitchen. No, it was a lot smaller kitchen. And I actually had two more chairs like this. Now, if you're new to my channel, the chairs did not look like this. These were just a, a brown stain that I painted this white and I did the distressing on it. 
And so when we moved here, I needed another chair. So I was kicking myself for getting rid of my chairs because one of them got cracked when we moved. And I just, I really didn't need two extra chairs, so I donated them. And like I said, I was kicking myself when we moved here. I said, oh, now I need one of those chairs. So, you know, I was looking everywhere for a chair and I found those two bar stools that look like it. Because these came from a local large uh, uh, furniture store called American Furniture Warehouse. So you would see these everywhere. And I, I actually saw a set by table and chairs at a thrift store like so many years ago. But of course, you know, I had six chairs and a table. I didn't need anything. Now, like I said, when we moved here, I needed a chair. Could not find it. So I found that one that was a Pottery Barn one. That's good enough. You know, I, I repainted it. Looks great in there. And when I found these chairs uh, on Thursday, I was like, should I get one? Because they were separate instead of a set because it didn't have the right table. They had them around a different table, so it had the chairs separate. And I was like, should I get him? Now, I didn't for two reasons. Uh, first reason was the price. They were $9.99 a piece, and that is that is a good deal for how, because these chairs are, are metal and wood and solid wood, and they are heavy chairs. They're good, solid chairs. But the other reason I didn't want to get it, because I got to paint it, and I, I'm pretty sure I got this fabric, still got more of this fabric so I can cover it. But the metal here, every single one had big chunks taken out of it. I mean, I don't know what the heck somebody did to those chairs. But I was like, wow, I would paint it anyway just to have the black because I got my black island in the kitchen. But I thought, okay, I got to paint the metal. I got to paint the wood to match. I probably wouldn't paint it to match. I might just make it solid white because the kitchen's white because you can always distress it later. And then I got to recover it. And I thought, I really want to get these for, get one, just want one for $5. So I passed because I thought I don't necessarily have to have it because I found that one a while back. That's a Pottery Barn one that's perfectly fine in there. So I said to myself, hey, you know, when that color goes on half off, I will go check it out and see if they're still there. And if they are, I will get one. If not, it's not that big of a deal. It would be nice to have it, but you know, I'm kind of where I want to get it half off if I have to do a lot of work to it. So, but I just wanted to share that because I was so excited when I went in there and saw those because I, I go, oh, that's my chairs, <laughs> and they're not painted or recovered, and that's how I recognize it because they have like this paisley purple and gold and another color print on it, which is okay, but not what I really like anymore. So, I just wanted to share that real quick. <laughs> well. That is it for the video today. And again, please go check everybody out. Everything's down below in the description box. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.